بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الأمين محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد After praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending salutation to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I begin with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My respected brothers and sisters in Islam We are entering in today's that are very special and very virtuous. Days in which many of our brothers and sisters in Islam are totally unaware of. Many of us have forgotten its significance and its importance. It is none other than the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about those days and Allah says in the Quran, And by the dawn, and by the ten nights. It is known that whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes an oath by something, it indicates towards its importance. And in this case, the ten nights are referring to the ten days of Dhul Hijjah. This is a time when millions of Muslims around the globe will be performing Hajj and seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah Azza wa Jal has chosen certain days over others and by doing that, Allah Azza wa Jal has provided us with many opportunities throughout the year to build our spirituality in order to increase in our ibadah. These opportunities are a means for us to attain the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal and His infinite mercy. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامِ الْعَمَلِ الصَّالِحِ فِيهَا أَحَبُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَيَّامِ that there are no days during which the righteous action is so beloved to Allah Azza wa Jal than these days, i.e. the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. But remember one thing, these 10 days are not just restricted to the people that are going to Hajj. In fact, the rewards of Ibadah in these 10 days are extended to all the Muslims, those that are performing the Hajj and those that are unable to perform the Hajj. One of the ways in which we can multiply our rewards is by using these days in order to fast. Why? Because when one is fasting, that person is constantly in ibadah from the time of Fajr until the time of Maghrib. And it is not like in Ramadan where we fast and it's easier for us to engage in ibadah while shaitan is locked up. But rather, this is a time in which shaitan is still out doing what he does and trying to entice the people towards sins whilst the true servants of Allah Azza wa Jal use this time in engaging in ibadah. Another way that we can maximize its benefits is by staying up a portion of the night in order to pray the Hajjud, crying and begging Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive our sins. This is the way to attain forgiveness and rewards. My brothers and sisters in Islam, among these 10 days is the day of Arafah. All the pilgrims will be standing on Jabal Rahmah, the mountain of mercy, on the plains of Arafah, seeking Allah Azza wa Jal's forgiveness. This is a day on which Allah Azza wa Jal has completed his religion and he had perfected his favors. It was on this very day that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam performed his Hajj and once he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was standing on Mount Rahmah, on Jabal Rahmah, Allah Azza wa Jal revealed to him the verse, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا. Today I have perfected your religion for you and I have completed my favor upon you and I have chosen Islam for you as your religion. On this day, Allah Azza wa Jal frees more people from the fire than any other day. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, مَا مِنْ يَوْمٍ أَكْثَرَ مِنْ أَنْ يُعْتِقَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ عَبْدًا مِنَ النَّارِ مِنْ يَوْمِ عَرَفَةِ وَإِنَّهُ لَيَدْنُوا ثُمَّ يُبَاهِي بِهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ فَيَقُولْ مَا أَرَادَ هَؤُلَاء There is no day on which Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala frees more of his slaves from the fire of Jahannam than the day of Arafah. And then Allah Azza wa Jal draws near and he boasts and praises those slaves of his 
before the angels saying what is it that they seek my respected brothers and sisters in Islam if we cannot fast in the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah then the least that we can do is to fast on the day of Arafah the Prophet وسلم, says that fasting on the day of Arafah expies the sins of the previous year and the coming year subhanallah fasting on the day of Arafah wipes out the sins of two years Allahu Akbar the Hujjaj get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal by praying to him and the people that did not have the chance to perform Hajj get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal by fasting on the day of Arafah and in return Allah Azza wa Jal forgives their sins for the year that has passed and the year that is to come not only should you fast on this day but we should make sure that we ask Allah Azza wa Jal for all the du'as that are in our hearts. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, خَيْرُ الدُّعَاءِ دُعَاءُ يَوْمِ عَرَفَةِ The best du'a is the du'a of Yawm Arafah. Foolish is the one who abandons these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, especially the day of Arafah. And wretched is the one, wretched is the one who indulges in sins in these 10 days and does not even attempt to seek the forgiveness of Allah Azza wa Jal on these 10 days. My respected brothers and sisters in Islam, ask Allah Azza wa Jal for all that you have in your hearts. This is a day in which Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala rejects no prayers in this day. Ask him for everything that you possibly can. Even those prayers that you feel that you don't deserve. Those prayers that make you feel as if it is impossible for it to happen, ask him. Wallahi al-Azim, if you ask with a sincere heart, Allah Azza wa Jal will accept your dua. Remember who you are asking. You are asking the most generous, the one that is capable of everything. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, He says about those people that seek His forgiveness on these days. Allah says in the Quran, Wallahu yuridu and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to accept your repentance. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about those people that have sinned. Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَمْ يُصِرُّوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And those that have committed sins and they have oppressed themselves and then they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek forgiveness for their sins. They remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then they seek the forgiveness. They seek Allah azza wa forgiveness for their sins. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and who can forgive the sins except Allah azza wa And they do not persist in doing what they had done knowingly. My brothers and sisters, look at this. This is how generous, how forgiven, and how merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and we should always remember it turn to him and seek his forgiveness by Allah azza wa jal, he will forgive you let us remind ourselves how important the day of Arafah is the day that Islam had been perfected may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to use this day in the best possible way and may Allah azza wa jal, accept all the good from us and forgive our mistakes السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته